And we're back. We are now on the Fort Zethu. Will be his own man, as opposed to some other dude's man. <laughs> After the wars with Venice, Visconti made sure he got his gold's worth out of us. He sent Sforza south to enforce the Duke's claims in Romagna. I think the Duke was having second thoughts about Sforza. After we left, Piccinino and his men followed us. Sforza could see through the plot. Although he was betrothed to the Duke's daughter, he knew Visconti. Did uh, Piccinino bring trade carts with him? Also knew <laughs> that being a landless condottiero was a risky proposition. Sforza needed to be his own man and have his own land. A refuge if the machinations of his employers turned against him, or if they demanded justice for Sforza's own treachery. What better opportunity than to use Visconti's weapons and money to his own benefit? by making himself the ruler of a city. Well, doesn't seem like the greatest plan ever, but whatever. All right, destroy Piccinino's military buildings, and then we got to bring a relic to the monasteries. Pop limit of 200. You can advance, or you cannot construct buildings, but you'll advance in ages and receive resources when you conquer the cities. Uh, garrison the relics in the, in the little cities. Uh, yeah, don't lose your monk. Uh, there are also often less costly ways to break into a city than tearing down its gate. And the wars have produced a glut of unemployed mercenaries waiting to be hired in the villages to the south and along the coast. The, uh, the captain, Sigismondo Malatesta, is among them. Sorza has taken the town of Ancona, but Piccinino controls the city of Forli, uh, which has garrisoned with condottieri, cavalier, and hand cannons. And you need to, you know, get more powerful before you can take them down. And to do that, you will need to capture the cities of Pesaro, Remini, and Ravenna, uh, in that order, actually. By bringing the Holy Relic to each city's monastery, Pesaro has Arbalest, Remini has Light Cav and Pikemen, and Ravenna has Cavs and Champs. you took Ancona for your own with the Duke's money and arms. He has sent me to bring you to justice. Justice demands retribution. Anyway, this scenario is kind of a strange one. Piccinino stalks us like a wolf, but the hungry dog fights harder. Bring the relic of San Ciriaco to the churches, and the cities will join us. In Bocca a Lupo, cousin. <laughs> or random Italian. Oh, does that mean you like fight like the wolf? I don't know. Anyway, you can see that there's a bunch of condos here to the south, and I think they'll even have Castle Age upgrades. Yeah, that's pretty nice. But this is the big one. Need this cap tram. Anyway, you can see this city. Uh, all the other cities are neutral to us. Hey, it's the old capital of the Roman Empire. There are many unemployed condottieri seeking patrons. We should find and recruit them. I have heard Sigismondo Malatesta is among them. He would make a great ally. So, unfortunately, you cannot garrison monks inside a siege tower, so we do actually have to tear down the gate. Because it's locked. But I guess what we can do is jump these units over, and then have them take out the Arbalests. Hopefully. Hopefully... okay. Now they can start to work on the gate from the other side. And that should be going down pretty fast. Ah, 
Don't just randomly target the monk. <gasps> Come on, you can make it, you can make it, you can make it! We will now begin the receiving bread, lumber, and gold from the townsfolk. Thankfully, our cool, collected, calm manner uh, really shown through right there. Not remotely uh, about to lose right there. Yep. Totally. You know, let's also get a... Uh, Sanctity, for obvious reasons. And also, apparently the uh, Adriatic Sea is just devoid of fish. But yeah, I mean, you just not, you're not supposed to fish it. But even so, I feel like you, they should have at least like a couple fish jumping around here and there. Kind of like in uh, some of the other campaigns where, you know, you're on the water but you're not supposed to make any ships or anything. Uh, don't have Bodkin. Army comp, once again, going to be focusing on condos and Arbalusts, because we can get all the way to Imperial Age. Oh yeah, I guess you could transport into one of the cities. You, or you could try doing that at least, but that seems like a pretty risky... Proposition. I guess maybe the first city it would be faster to do it this way. Um, if, But actually, no, come to think of it, the Arbalusts are there right away and the monk would just die instantly. Unless you could somehow distract the enemy fire long enough. I don't know, the way I did it seems like the safest way. And this city has a castle. God damn it. Ramini. Okay, yeah, these are not big cities. Okie dokie. Uh, this gate is not locked. So, theoretically, what we can do... Garrison some units in here. Get them to open the gate. And then... Damn it. <laughs> Fail. Whatever. Same plan. Oh yeah, there is that castle there to watch out for. Oh, wait a minute, that's uh that's Piccinino. Okay, we're at least able to get that. This isn't looking so great. Get in there, Sforza. Wait, does Monk Faith not regenerate when they're holding a relic? I did not know that. <laughs> Where is your cunning now, Sforza? You waste away so many men and so much wealth trying to defy your superiors. Well, this definitely could be going better. Wait, what? How did you get in here? Well, crap. Maybe if I can get Sforza... 
Okay. All right. Mission impossible. Oh, we'll rip that that dude. Rip Sforza. Oh, what the frickin' castle! Alright, guys. We seem to have encountered a slight problem. We don't have any units. Okay. We still have income, though, but it's going to be annoying as hell. Also, I realize that we are not in Imperial Age, so we can't make condos yet. So we'll try and see if Cavaliers, or not Cavaliers, Knights can work. You have University? No. Hmm. How did I do this last time? I really don't remember. I mean, I guess you just need to have a bunch of units blocking here, so the castle fire is not targeting you. But how are we going? How are we going to get in? We can't use ships because they're an imperial age and they're going to have heated shot. So, yeah, like, that's not going to work. We don't have a siege workshop unless I'm blind. Oh, those are staples. Um... Okay. This is a test of my problem-solving skills. Maybe there's another unit in there or something that I missed. I can... No... Long Swordsman? I mean, the Guard Towers will shred through them fairly quickly, but I guess it's still our best bet. So freaking awkward. It will take us a hot minute. Yeah, there's the relic. Oh, what if I drop the relic and it like propped the gate open? That'd be hilarious. I don't even know if it can do that. Is it even worth doing this? Like, I could just start the scenario over. Because we're getting resources really slowly. Yeah, screw it. All right, take two. Sforza, you took Ancona for your own with the Duke's money and arms. He has sent me to bring you to justice. We're gonna try. Uh, since, since we have literally nothing to lose, let's try the sneak route. stalks us like a wolf, but the hungry dog. Fights harder. Bring the relic of San Chiriaco to the churches, and the cities will join us. In Boca Alupo, does it? Huh. I guess it does work. The relic of San Chiriaco has inspired this town. To and we get all these arms, too. We will now begin receiving bread, lumber, and gold from the townsfolk. That works. Act like a 
holy man canvassing around with a saint's relic? I know who you truly are, Sorta. Presto, fine. All right, guys. You know, we're learning things together. Apparently, just, uh, yeah, just have a few cavaliers as your meat shield and just go, go transport in right away. There are many unemployed condottieri seeking patrons. We should find and recruit them. I have heard Sigismondo Malatesta is among them. He would make a great ally. That won't work with the other cities, though, because Rimini has a castle and more towers and stuff. And Ravenna isn't on the water, if I recall correctly. Actually, yeah, it's definitely not on the water. Actually, you have two blacksmiths. Anyway, we're pretty well positioned when it comes to military due to getting all those arbalests from uh, Pissarro. Let's still get that guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure last time, or the first time I did this, I just hopped over the wall and then killed the units and then I had a better, easier time over here. But the way I did just there seems to be the best one. Anywho. We are going to debate them out of their city once again. Let's see if the attacking the gate specifically attracts anyone else. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. Should also get fervor too. Come on, come on, boyos. Distract. God damn it. Oh, well. At least we have a nice contingent of arbalests. You see how much worse I am at these scenarios where you can't boom? <laughs> it's my... It's my uh, AoE2 campaign confession. <laughs> Sucking at all scenarios where you can't boom. I need another monk. Okay. So we're going to use the Siege Tower to tank because we don't really have any, any better use for it. And that should be able to stay alive damn it, uh, long enough for the monk to get the relic where it needs to go. Which would be the monastery. Man, poor Adriatic really just... Uh, Fished clean. Die. Anyway, uh, once we capture this city, I think we get Imperial Age, maybe? I don't remember exactly. Ah, 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 dip, dip. <sighs> yeah, I'm in Imperial Age now, sick. 
now things should be much easier because we got a castle, we've got Imperial Age. Did I just get another monk? That's fine. Oh, this is going so much better. Oh, hey, more condos. Rip. So yeah, Ravenna's over across this bridge, but I see no reason why we can't destroy this camp over here. Also, uh, Malatesta is hanging around over here on the coast. Heated Shot apparently also does not transfer through uh, conversions. Got Arson, right? Yeah. Oh, they do have a dock. But, I mean, what are they going to do? Kill my castle? With war galleys? Also, I think Malatesta gives you some uh, caravels. But why wonder when we can just go to the man? And uh, Pichinino has infinite resources, so, you know, you don't have to worry about raiding an eco. Yes. For sure, dude. So I'm pretty sure those don't count as military buildings, the docks. I mean, they're not military buildings in the, uh, you know, the villager build tab thing. Still don't have a university. But let's get ourselves a trebuchet. No, keep going. Oh, do we get Malatesta as a hero? Yes, we do. He's got pretty good stats. He's a cavalier with a ton of HP. Yeah, hopefully I don't have to kill those docks. Now, if I recall correctly, Ravenna is definitely the strongest. I mean, you can just see in the score that they're the strongest. Champions and Cavaliers and whatnot. Okie dokie. Okay, this is going to be a really sick position. Get wrecked, melee units. I think. Maybe not. Maybe I overestimated myself. Nope, nope, perfect. Easiest fight of my life. Okay, the monastery is right there, so we are still going to have to clean out the rest of the troops. But for that, we can just use our big old army. But Ravenna does have a castle as well. You can see that our income is coming in more quickly now that we have three cities under our control. Oh, 
No, 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 attack. That's my university, goddammit. So yeah, condos kind of suck against cavalry. As in, they're awful, but... Eh, we have some arbs, some genbos. Some hand cannons. Wait, no, no, don't attack the frickin' university! <laughs> like I said, that's my only one! <laughs> I believe in my muster monk! Mr. Monk, you can do it! You can do it! Are you kidding me? Why did he have to go, like, all the way around? Ugh. Oh, wait, no, there's another monk here. The hell, man! Anyway, the individual cities themselves don't train any more units, so... Oh well, oh well. I guess I could mix in some gen mix in some genbos too. I mean, Italians have a super good, if not very slow, land army. I honestly think they're pretty underrated on land maps. Like they're not amazing, but it's not like you land Italians on Arabia and are just like dead. Indubitably. Anyway, for the love of doubt, give me ballistics and chemistry. <laughs> oh! Also, I think I lost Forza. I'm fairly certain I lost Forza. I think that's his dead body right there. Well, that's mildly annoying. Let's get that. Definitely going to be focusing on the range units. Also, I'm pretty sure that once you get Ravenna, you don't have to worry about uh, the relic anymore, so you can just garrison it. You know, use it for the gold income. Oops. Okay, those are just coming along. I'm gonna go ahead and get guilds, just because I feel like we're gonna be doing a lot of that. That is a rather large army. <laughs> Where is your cunning now, Sforza? You waste away so many men and so much wealth trying to defy your superior. Well, now I have all the ups. And six, seven, where's eight? Oh, the monk. All right. What the? Are those flaming arrows that are stuck in the sky? Because that's what they look like. Yeah, you guys definitely should see that. Looks like they're they're on OBS. Well, that's weird. And anyway, we'll get the visa. Get another monk. Let's get that. Get some condos. Condos will be really helpful in uh, chewing through buildings. Why did I build the condo from all the way over there? I don't know. I'm dumb. Because obviously. 
the big weakness of archer uh, armies and civilizations in general is dealing with buildings. Sorry, just had to take a sip of some delicious, if not quite nutritious, Diet Dr. Pepper. Because Ornlu runs on caffeine. Sure, mix in some genbos, why not? Honestly, I feel like buildings as a as a concept are kind of underrated in Age of Empires. Like, buildings can buy you a lot of time. Like, I was uh, casting the other day, or a few days ago or something, and it was a tournament match. I won't spoil it specifically, but one of the players had some trebuchets, and they were trying to push forward, but they didn't destroy a siege workshop. And so the siege workshop just had one siege ram come out and killed like three trebs. Just because, you know, it popped out right next to the trebs. Buildings can buy you a lot of time, because your opponent will push past, you know, military production buildings at their own peril. And if your opponent is making primarily archers or even cavalry to some extent, it can take a little while to get through the buildings. Obviously, that's what makes uh, Siege Ram so deadly, is because they complement those sorts of armies very well. Uh, are there any towers here? The other base had towers. Does not appear as if this base has towers. Sure, let's get that. I don't even know what to hotkey anything. Um, you and you get to be five. You and you get to be six. You and you get to be four. Seems good. As I recall, the rest of the scenario is like super grindy and slow. Because essentially, you know, Piccinino's in the, the, the one part of the map we haven't been to yet. And he's got a big old city with bombard towers and stuff. And that just takes a long time to push through. Remember what I literally just said about buildings? <laughs> Get another trebuchet at least. Anyway, cleaned up all these guys. Onward and upward. Uh, still need a little more resource. Uh, next scenario, however, we will be getting uh, villagers and stuff as opposed to the first two, so. It's not like this whole campaign is just Condottieri. Because I guess once we're, we are, we're, once we are our own man, we uh, can get villagers and stuff. Charge! I might have made a terrible mistake. Well, that was a horribly unlucky conversion. Eh, might be fine. Uh, 
Archers are good against hand cannons. Despite having significantly less attack, they fire much faster and much more accurately. And they have a bit more health, too. Hand cannons only have 35 HP normally. Our blasts have 40. Uh, honestly, I think I should focus on just arbs and trebs and genbos. I don't really think our condos are going to be doing anything. They're just too many defensive buildings. The monk additions are nice, though. Since we're focusing on trying to keep a few units alive as long as we can, might as well heal them up. But, yeah, this is pretty grindy. But we're, we're about to double our firepower. I mean, I could go for some rams, but the problem is they're making mostly condos and cavalier, which just will kill the rams. It's not like I have siege rams as Italians. But yeah, they never get Imperial Age Blacksmith upgrades. So we clap them. Unfortunately, Elite Genbo is pretty pricey. 900, 750. It's actually a little bit cheaper than Elite Longbowman and Elite Chukonu. Actually, Chukonu, I'm not too sure because of the discount. I never can remember the price. What? Nope. Let's be smart for once. Will you be defeated by Ornlu then? But yeah, like, look at... Are they, I guess these aren't Bombard Towers, but they're keeps, man. I can't just push into those. I feel like Rams would just die to all these knights and stuff. I wonder if, like, we're getting secret Fatorios or something. Like, I wonder how the, the trickle is being done. Because it seems like we're not getting that much wood, but we're getting a ton of food. Or maybe it's just because that is just because I'm spending the wood on archers and whatnot. I guess we need some more condos. But yeah, it's like there's nothing even in the city. There aren't any villagers, not anything, man. It just feels so empty. Yeah, this definitely isn't my favorite. My, so this isn't my favorite campaign. I guess I like it more than Leiloi. <laughs> that was just painful, man. Don't really know why this one's considered a hard difficulty campaign, though. Even thinking to the missions ahead. Like, yeah, I know we screwed up in this one, but that was just, like, uh, me being dumb. I 
I'm like, just, oh, okay, that didn't work, so we just have to try a different plan of attack. Forward! Any more keeps? Yes! Gah! Well, once these are dead, my condos can come in and do some work. Speaking of which, let's just make a bunch more. Also, the... Oh, I have had another trap. God damn. Um, the 200 pop limit and getting into Imperial Age in every single scenario seems a bit weird. Like, usually with campaigns, you start in Feudal or Castle Age, sometimes even Dark Age, and then, like, you can't get to Imperial Age, or you have lower pop limits, and then you have higher pop limits, and you can get to Imperial Age in, like, three or four. And, you know, whatever given campaign. I don't know. I'm under attack from. Oh, I guess a condo. Anyway, we're almost done. And once these uh, stables and archery range go down, we should be one winning all that stuff. I realize this is going to be a pretty long video because of my first um, attempt, shall we say. There we go. Oh, that's fine. We'll just, uh, you know, hop on over to somewhere that's not Italy, like France or... Croatia or something. I guess there are some houses here. Piccinino had some ships, but that's not really that crazy. But yeah, we pretty much saw the entire map. Volume. Sports and Piccinino were like alley dogs fighting over a scrap of meat. They were natural rivals, precisely because they were so alike. Of the two, Sforza had a certain pedigree. If you could call being the bastard of a mercenary captain, pedigree. From his father, Sforza inherited his forbizia, cunning, and used it to get the best of his rivals, his patrons, and his women alike. Piccinino, the son of a butcher, came into the profession as a soldier. He rose through the ranks and became an advisor to a trusting, yet incompetent condottiero. In this position, Piccinino lured his captain into an ambush and took command of the company. That Sforza and Piccinino would, years later, become blood enemies was as inevitable as two dogs fighting over a single... Patella is king of the Huns. He will lead us to victory against our blood enemies. Anyway, that was Forza 2. <laughs> 10k resource attributed to ourselves. Relics captured negative 2. <laughs> Lol. Anyway, that will be his own man, finally. And next up will be Prodigal Sun. See you guys then.